Here's problem 1011. Two particles, mass 1.2 kilograms, mass 2.3 kilograms, are positioned at the ends of a two meter long rod of negligible mass. What is the moment of inertia of this rigid body by an axis perpendicular to the rod and through the center of mass? Well, let's imagine this. We, in order to figure out the moment of inertia, we have to find the center of mass first. So, let's imagine that we have this rod. It's two meters long. has no mass, negligible, negligible mass. We have um, mass one, which is 0.2 kilograms at one end, and mass two, which is 0.3 kilograms at the other end. We wish to find the center of mass of this system, so we're going to go that the center of mass on the x-axis is equal to the summation of every mass multiplied by its position over the total mass of the system. So in this case, that would be mass 1, which is 0.2 kilograms, multiplied by its position, 0, plus mass 2, 0.3 kilograms, multiplied by its position, which is at 2, over the total mass, which is going to be mass 1, plus mass 2. So our center of mass is going to equal 0.6 divided by 0.5 or 1.2 meters. At x equal 1.2 meters right here, that is our center of mass. Make sense? So that means that um, mass 1 is 1.2 meters away from the center of mass, and mass 2 is 0.8 meters away from the center of mass. So if we had an axis right there at the center of mass, we could calculate the moment of inertia about that point. The moment of inertia is the summation of every mass multiplied by its distance from the axis squared. And this would be mass 1 r1 squared plus mass 2 r2 squared. So this would be 0.2 times 1.2 squared plus 0.3 times 0.8 squared. And that would be, this is 0.288 plus 0.3. So that is 0 0.48 kilogram meter squared. So that is the moment of inertia of this rod with these two masses about its own center of mass.